are on board the USS Nimitz, the most advanced nuclear supership in the American arsenal, carrying a complement of 102 aircraft and 6,000 men. The Nimitz is on routine duty, guarding the waters of the South Pacific. That force is in real trouble. Stand by to ring the bell. But within minutes, a bizarre, unexplainable phenomenon of nature will transport the Nimitz 40 years back in time. Back to the day of infamy, back to the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. My gosh, look at that. This is the cap. I'm speaking to every man aboard this ship. The storm has had some effect on time, as we know it. It, it created a portal. A door into another era. Today is December the 7th, 1941. We're about to fight a battle that was lost before most of you were born. This time, God's help. It's going to be different. There are forces in the universe which we're only now just beginning to understand. There are black holes in space, antimatter, curved space. Things that are as strange to us as electricity would have been to people in the Middle Ages. Holy cow. The whole Japanese fleet. Our reconnaissance plane has just taken pictures of something that hasn't existed for over 40 years. What have you got? Two Japanese zeros, sir. Splash the zero. What's happening here? Who are you people? Go shoot back off! Go shoot! Why don't you tell him what's going on here, Commander? You're an expert on what's going to happen tomorrow. Why don't you tell him about it, for God's sakes? Go on, tell him. We got nothing to lose. Welcome to the paradox of time, when past and present become one. And history is actually changed. We've got an incredible opportunity here. We know where all the mistakes are going to be made for the next 40 years, and you've got the power to correct them. The final countdown. 